Welcome to Newbie Art Diary number 432 for the 6th of September 2020. Newbie Art, a different perspective on the African world. For the September promo, we're going to start with Source by Nubia Garcia, which is out now on the Concord Jazz Record label. This is the long-awaited full debut album from one of the new generation of jazz artists who have been overseeing a renaissance in British jazz while stretching the boundaries to take in the latest electronic beats, Afro-diasporic sounds and dubstep. There is a core band of the saxophonist, alongside drummer Sam Jones, bassist Daniel Casimir, and Joe Armin Jones on piano and Wurlitzer. However, given Nubia Garcia's roles in Tomorrow's Warriors, Maisha and Nureja, and her feature appearances on much of the recent output by other artists, there is strong support from the likes of Miss Morris and Cassie Kenoshi returning favours. The album is a co-production by Nubia Garcia and Quest. Many of the tracks exceed six minutes, giving the musicians time and space to stretch out. The album opens with Pace, which was the lead single. It is followed by The Message Continues. The title track, Source, is the longest on the album at 12 minutes and is a real journey starting out with Deep Roots reggae groove before the musicians take off an expansive mood. The Roots vibe is returned to to close the track. The Messages continue with Together is a Beautiful Place to Be and Stand with Each Other before moving into Inner Game. There is a change into a more Latin-influenced feel on La Cumbia Maestra y La Mando, much of which was recorded in Colombia with the support of La Perla, who chant about the call of the cumbia. Before us in Demerara and Caura is a direct reference to the Guyanese and Trinidadian roots of Nubia's parents. The album closer is Boundless Beings featuring a Kenya on vocals. Overall, this is a moving insight into the music and influences that shaped Nubia from her youth into a highly praised saxophonist in the vanguard of this latest round of glory days for British jazz. You can hear elements of John Coltrane, Charlie Parker, Cannonball Adderley, Thelonious Monk, Abby Lincoln, Carmen McRae and Courtney Pine flowing through this collection that points to a strong and successful future. Next up, we're looking at 2K, A Journey by Modatore. This album's out now on art music. This is the debut solo album from Modatore, and it follows his success with the West African Blues Project. He says, This is my life story. Learning from mistakes has given me the strength and courage to follow my own path. The Senegalese singer, the son of Ugman Tore from the legendary Toure Kunda, delivers a mix of groovy rhythms, Afrobeat, pop rock and funk through exquisite guitar playing, bass, percussion and warm and rhythmic silky vocals. The 11 tracks are in Wolof, Soninke, French and English and cover issues such as love, destiny, identity, childhood, family life, relationships and life on the streets of Dakar. This offering from Modatoru points the way forward. The album opens with the title track Tuki, an autobiographical story of the travels of a young African man searching to find a better life and the obstacles he has to encounter and overcome. Wak Detan promotes development and unity as the way forward to overcoming misunderstandings and misconceptions about the African continent. Melo Kane calls on people to accept themselves and others. This is followed by a similar theme of Destiny on Natu, which features gorgeous vocals over a rhythmic guitar. This is an empathetic tribute to those in Africa that are extremely poor or going through extended periods of famine. And Modu says sometimes these situations or realities become their second nature or destiny. Dembo Wone shares African ancestral teachings through a strong melody. Next, Ayolele is a tribute to a mother's instinct to protect her children from harm and console them. Zibar is another autobiographical song about the strength needed for those who choose or are forced to follow their own path. Lushu urges people to put in maximum effort today as nobody knows what tomorrow will bring. Moon follows this theme reflecting on the fact that the world is full of both sorrow and joy. Your Mandy 
is a call to show mercy and positivity to those who try to put you down. The track Known, which closes the album, talks about the negative people who will smile to your face but not hesitate to undermine you behind your back. Modu says, We find foes everywhere. Some will even use evil forces to try and destroy your life. But what will be, will be. Okay, we move on to the September media. And we're going to look at the book where epics fail, Meditations to Live By. This is by Yahia Lavavidi, and it's published by Unbound. The acclaimed Egyptian-American aphorist, writer, essayist and poet Yahia Lavavidi captures the light perfectly in this book which cleanses your spirit, awakens your mind and guides you through the current physical, emotional and psychological challenges. He does it through a combination of wit and wisdom, inspiration and spirituality. There are over 800 aphorisms here covering themes such as silence, pain, forgiveness, vice, debauchery, meditation, love, mysticism and mercy. On page 7 he writes, Words seldom stand alone. Like us, they are encircled by the spirits of ancestors. On page 8, An unfree body cannot house a free spirit. On page 55, Maybe we are upside down trees and our branches in this world are roots in the next. On page nine, strange that surfaces should be celebrated, yet depths apologised for. On page 52, some worry about dying with wealth unspent, far worse to live with love unspent. And on page 26, spiritually speaking, what applied to us as children remains true as adults. We may only play once we've completed our homework. The book points out that only 5% of aphorisms are attributed to women who suffered historically from a lack of access to literary society and a fear of being accused of being witches if they displayed too much insight and wisdom. The contradictions surrounding women's role in society is highlighted in the book's introduction which points out that in France a woman with three children can sit the civil service exam without having passed any other exams beforehand as motherhood is considered adequate foundation. Some more aphorisms. On page 10, Yahia writes, One must be careful to keep their balance when they carry a whole world inside of them. On page 23, You can't bury pain and not expect it to grow roots. On page 38, if we gaze deeply into our own wound, we also see the wounds of others. On page 48, love is the true life coach. The rest are assistants or imposters. On page 171, you cannot refuel at the devil and expect it to take you to God. Labobidi's work appears in numerous anthologies, including Short Flights, which was published by Schaffner Press in 2015, that was a unique anthology that drew together the work of 32 leading pioneers of the short form of writing and aphorisms. Lababidi is the only contemporary Arab writer in the encyclopedia Giri's Guide to the World's Great Aphorist and the youngest poet to be included in the best-selling US college textbook Literature, an introduction to reading and writing. His most recent work is Revolutions of the Heart, which was published in 2020 and is a collection of essays and conversations running across literature, social activism and mysticism. On page 70, Lababidi writes, The heart is patient with the mind because it knows better. On page 92, Good conversations come from good silences and return there. On page 114, freedom is not needing to have an opinion on everything. On page 143, when we think we are arguing with others, we are usually arguing with ourselves. And on page 145, addressing an imaginary audience used to be called madness. Now it's called social media. Lababidi's myriad influences range from Rumi to Kierkegaard, from Dickinson to Kafka. 
Naomi Shehab Nye, the poor anthologist and author of There Is No Long Distance, now says, if Yahya Samir Lababidi were in charge of a country, I would want to live there. And we'll just close with these. On page 196, he writes, we may trust our instincts once we have tamed them. On page 172, real difficulties are manageable. It's imaginary ones that are insurmountable. On page 162, memory has its own geographies, not all of which can be found on a map. On page 194, civilization is carefully stitched together, yet easily undone. Humans too are a form of organized chaos, capable of unraveling for an instant or a lifetime. On page 208, what we refer to as the real world is often our failure of imagination. And finally, on page 24, cruelty is hereditary with nations too. And that is the Nubia Art Library for September. Okay, moving on to lyrics and spirits. O ye gods of the underworld who set yourself up against me and who resist the mighty ones, the stars which never set have led me on my way. That's from chapter 78 of the Papyrus of Annie. Okay, this poem's called Reluctant Passenger. Some are talk about tank and a boost up jet, modeling jeep and a launch satellite, sail up destroyer, set off in troop carrier, supply plane, them a fly by night. I'm a reluctant passenger in the journey to destruction, in the back seat without no safeguards. Drive with them half seat belt and crash helmet, but the route and destination they're going is a fraud. They check the oil, buy petrol and water, open the sunroof, wind down the window, beat the horn, juice up the engine, but then don't respect civilian or pedestrian. They say to overrun our country is wrong, but I saw them get their power all along. They sell war vehicle to any with money, now friend turn enemy, but have the same technology. I'm here through no fault of my own. The military path through made my life a war zone. Driving so fast they ignore their war crime. Now I beg them, don't take life, take time. And that's from the 14th of October 1990. And that was first published in Off Slaughter and Consumption back in 1991. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this edition of the Newbie Art Diary. And if you want to get in touch with us, it's Kobara Zamani, African Quest, PO Box 35165, London, SE5 8WU. The email is AfricanQuest1 at hotmail.com and on Twitter at Nubiart Diary. And we'll just close with our saying, talk sense or it don't make sense you talk. Thanks for listening. Guidance.